Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome back to another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online from Bad Deck Monday. Here we go, getting back into the swing of things. Lately I've been sick, so I apologize for that. I haven't been able to really talk honestly, so now my voice is back. I'll be able to make some more videos, and this is the first one I'm bringing. Uh, from Bad Deck Monday, which is of course our live stream every Monday. I play on Pokemon TCG Online with decks that are a little bit off. Some have some crazier strategies than the others. Some just have some weird cards like that Hooligans Gym and Cast in my hand. But all in all, it's all about having fun and uh, trying out some new stuff, seeing so you know how it works. So my opponent starts off with a Terrakian, goes first, ends me, which I was happy about because, well, my hand is pretty bad. And uh, I'm playing a Garchomp Salamence Altaria deck. Now, Garchomp, Altaria, uh, it's an archetype, it is. It's not the greatest deck out there, but it is, uh, you know, a solid deck. But the twist on this one is I have added Salamence from Dragon Vault and Hooligans Gym and Cass. Now, why would I do that? Uh, Salamence has the ability Scornful Storm, which forces your opponent to discard down to four cards. And then if you flip heads on Hooligans Gym and Cass, you take away three of those cards. So then you leave your opponent with a one-card hand. And since the Garchomp Altaria deck has the Gabite Dragon Call ability to fall back on, it's still kind of a consistent deck anyway, so you can kind of afford to, you know, run uh, some junk like Hooligans in this deck in Salamence, I guess. <laughs> and, yeah, that's what we're doing here. Alright. So, uh, we're going to get a Gabite out here. Use Dragon Call. Um, use... Dragon Call again. This is the nice little cycle you get through when you get your Gabite out. You could search for another one, which gets to search for another one, which gets to search for another one, blah, 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 blah. And eventually you just get to search for everything. The only thing you cannot search for in this deck is Swablu, which is a bummer, honestly. Uh, to not be able to search out that Swablu is such a big deal. It's very, very annoying. Uh, if it were a Dragon type, it would be so cool. But it's a colorless type, so you have to find it manually, and my hand is not that good, I don't have a supporter. And as we can see, my opponent is playing a ho deck, it's not letting me click his discard pile, but that's okay. Uh, some discard two ho -Oh EXs. So I know exactly what I'm dealing with. Uh, in turn three, he's just going to land crush, knock out my Gabite, it's kind of uh, scary. I mean, he's just taking it right to me. Um, this is... Probably the worst part about the Garchomp Altaria deck, it's kind of slow. It doesn't respond very well to early pressure. You know, it, it just, it needs a couple turns to set up. You know, you need those couple turns to just go Dragon Call and, you know, get your full board established. And you're very vulnerable those first couple turns. And then even when you set up completely, you don't really overwhelm your opponent. It's not like a, a Blastoise Caldeo deck where it's, hey, I set up and now I get to just destroy you. No, it's just kind of like, hey, I set up, and now I get to constantly do, like, 100 damage. Uh, so this is kind of why this deck has fallen off the map a little bit. But uh, we're going to see how it fares here. You know, I get to mock cut here for 60. I did draw Swablu, which is very nice. I get one of those in play. So I'm going to be able to maybe get one of those into play. Once you get Altaria out, all your Dragon Pokemon do plus 20 damage, which is very nice. Uh, it allows you to, you know, just hit your opponent hard. With, uh, with a simple attack like Mock Cut. And, alright, uh, so he doesn't get a catcher, he doesn't get anything really. Gonna just put Altaria out there. Gonna Dragon Call once again, just to thin out my deck a little bit. I don't actually plan on evolving this turn, there's no real reason to do that. When I could just Dragon Call next turn. I don't need to evolve my bench to Gabite right now. Just gonna put down another energy. And we're gonna go for a Mock Cut. Wipe out that Terrakian. And alright, we're not in the worst of shapes, but, um, you know, he does have a Mewtwo coming. This could be some trouble. Uh, again, I really do not have anything. I also had to discard a Super Rod early on, as you can see there. Uh, Super Rod is actually a very important card in this deck, because it allows you to shuffle your Gabites back into your deck. And, uh, well, your, your whole Garchomp line, honestly. But you need to be able to cycle through them, because that's honestly your only attacker in this deck, Garchomp. And if you run out, you just kind of lose. That's all there is to it. <laughs> now here I had a weird decision. I could have rare candied into a guard chomp. But you know what? 
This is Bad Deck Monday, so I decided to rear candy into Salamence instead. And, um, yeah. See, he's got nine cards, so I'm going to use Scornful Storm and force him to discard five cards. Now, normally against Ho-Oh, this is not a bright idea because they could just discard their Ho-Ohs. But since I've already seen him discard two Ho-Ohs, I know I'm going to force him to discard a lot of good stuff. So, this is probably going to take a while. He has to discard five of his nine cards and then leave himself at a four-card hand. And maybe this is my way to come back. You know, we don't really have too many effects like these in Pokemon. It's not too often that Salamence actually does anything. So, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, I gotta do it. Uh, he discarded an N, a Juniper, a Super Scoop Up, uh, a couple Fighting Energy. So, you know what? These cards, he's probably gonna want those later on in the game. And, you know, if I can just make this game long and drawn out maybe I'll end up winning so we see a Charon uh, Mach Cut is also a very nice attack against Mewtwo because it can discard double call us uh, and I just discarded his DCE off his Mewtwo it gets to discard a special energy card so Garchomp you know I feel like it gets a lot of unfair hate it's really not that bad um, it, it's, it's certainly not great but it's not bad either uh, it's a solid card it's just kind of a little lacking in the offensive department. So I finally top deck a Juniper here. I'm going to get some cards out here finally. Uh, we're going to get another Swablu out here. Maybe a bag on if I really want to put that down. I don't really know why I would. Um, but, you know, my concern at this point is going to be, am I going to have enough attackers to honestly finish this game off? Because, I mean, just look at everything. I have, let's see... Two Gibbles in the discard pile already, with two Gabites. Uh, this card jump has 60 damage on it, pretty much going down next turn. And, huh, that's rough. Uh, also a rare candy down there, and a Super Rod in the discard pile. So what am I going to do for attackers? Honestly, I might need to start powering up Altaria, because I, I don't have anything else. Now, I could... Attach to Garchomp here in Dragon Blade and take the knockout. But I'm actually just going to mock cut and discard his DCE. Because I actually need to buy myself some turns to, uh, to attach some energy to Altaria just so I can get an attacker. And I also don't want to discard cards from my deck because there's a chance I can discard my second Super Rod. And if that's the case, I just lose because I run out of Garchomps. <laughs> uh, I can also discard my last Garchomp, my rare candies. So, uh, Dragon Blade is not a good option here. He whiffs a couple rebirths there, which is probably a big deal. And then X balls me for uh, 60. And, uh, I mean, I'm going to get rid of a third double call this year. This is pretty big. Now I'm going to power up Altaria once again. You don't hear that too often. But I am powering up Altaria. <laughs> and uh, I guess I get to Mach Cut once again. I could computer search and grab, you know, another Altaria so I could mock cut here for 100 instead of 80. I kind of want to save my computer search, though, because I'm in no immediate need of anything uh, next turn. I could really just do what I want. Uh, worst case scenario, I can actually catch her up as Bench Mewtwo and knock it out with Bagon. So I'm just going to be happy to discard another Double Call list. That's his third DCE down just from mock cuts. And uh, he had to discard a bunch of stuff earlier. Two more Tails on Rebirth. Wow. Uh, so I'm getting pretty lucky in that regard. And uh, yeah, re basically I'm just trying to run him out of resources and then buy myself enough time to to set up another Garchomp. Because if I can do that, look at his board. He's got two horribly damaged Mewtwo's. And he's saying, oh, I had triple energy switch. So that's what he's been holding on to in his hand. And he's just got to pass. Well, <laughs> so here I'm just like, okay, what do I want to do with this? Um, I, I might just, you know, take the easy knockout on that Mewtwo this turn. Again, I'm going to save my computer search for a better time. I'm just going to go ahead and put a blend on that bag on. Um, eh, I don't know if I should put the blend or the fighting. It probably doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, we're going to catch up Mewtwo. And, uh, this is probably the last time you're ever going to see this. Bag on, we'll headbutt a Mewtwo for a knockout. 30 damage. Take that, Mewtwo. 
Yeah. That just happened. All right. So now I get two prizes. I am in the lead. And he's got a heavily damaged Mewtwo on board. So I'm feeling really good. And he just flipped two more tails on Rebirth. <laughs> That's over six. Uh, you know, if he got a couple of heads there, I don't know if it would have made a huge difference. It probably would have, I'll be honest. Uh, I probably would have knocked out my Garchomp and probably would have lost. But hey, flips are flips sometimes. I also noticed I forgot to use the Scornful Storm last turn with Salamence. Uh, he had five cards, so I, I should have forced him to discard one of those, but I didn't. My mistake. I just got so caught up in the bag on action that uh, <laughs> I decided to just go ahead and get it over with. And now, ooh, I have opened myself up for a hooligans play. He's only got three cards. Uh, hooligans, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> and this is probably going to be the nail in the coffin, folks. Hooligans, Jim and Cass, shuffling in his remaining three cards. Yeah, this is Bad Deck Monday, folks. And he pretty much says GG and then uh, a bunch of angry letters. Uh, I'll get a second Altaria out here. I get to retreat now and mock cut for 100. And I'll be down to one prize. All I have to do is knock out one more Pokemon and I'll be able to win. So he's got 80 damage on the Mewtwo. So I need to do 90 more to knock him out. So I'm just going to retreat to my old guard chomp there. Uh, I might as well just attach to power up that Altaria completely. Give myself the option to glide at some point. It will do 80 damage, which is very sad. It costs so much. <laughs> uh, and alright, so we get a mock cut for a knockout. I get a rare candy out of the prizes. And he's only got a one card hand. So I think we've actually somehow wrapped this game up. Uh, with Salamence and Garchomp and Altaria. Uh, he goes for another rebirth, he gets a tails, another rebirth, alright, finally gets a heads. So he's gonna have a ho in play. But he's at four prizes now. I am at one. Uh, I'm gonna be able to computer search for rare candy, get a Garchomp out there. And I'll have an Altaria to attack with. So I think I actually have this one wrapped up. As weird as it sounds. Um, attacking with Altaria, and Bagon, and such. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to computer search and grab me a Garchomp because I can rare candy into that. I've just been holding on to that computer search the whole time because there was nothing I needed immediately. I was just waiting for the turn where I knew I would have to search for something I needed. Uh, and yeah, here we go. Might as well throw that blend on my benched Garchomp in anticipation for a Dragon Blade. Gonna mock cut for 100 damage, thanks to the plus 40 from Altaria's. And unless he heals off that Mewtwo or ends me, I can catch her for the game. And he just says, GG. So that's gonna be it. We're gonna win with Garchomp Salamence. Scornful Storm. Uh, oh, hold on. We gotta end this the right way. We gotta retreat to Altaria. I spent all this time powering this thing up. And we're gonna glide to victory. There we go, Altaria taking out Mewtwo and a Hooligans as my last prize. So this was just a beautiful game. We have the Salamence, we have the Hooligans, we have the Bagon knocking out a Mewtwo. All this awesome stuff. This is what Bad Deck Monday is all about. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Puka here from the Top Cut. We'll have some more videos for you soon. Stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.